Hey there, Toy Collector friends and Transformers fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Triple TC, that's the Time Travelling Toy Collector, and this is a very quick instant reaction video to uh, the Transformers 2-pack Studio Series 86, 27 and 28, filling in some of those missing numbers, uh, featuring Brawn and Ratchet. Interesting, it's Autobot Ratchet and doesn't mention it's Autobot Brawn. I assume we knew that, but interesting distinction to make. Um, Takara Tomy, and of course it's the Transformers the movie, the animated movie from um, uh, 1986. I don't know why I stumbled over that, it's probably because I'm excited to get this so quickly. Um, thanks to In Demand Toys, again, who managed to get this to me so promptly. I haven't opened it yet, I'm going to do obviously a separate video uh, like I did with the last uh, Dead set. Uh, this is really just to sort of say, look at the fantastic artwork that we're getting on the packaging which, you know, we would expect to get on the packaging. And also, I just want to do a quick sort of, please let me be able to show you, yeah, look at the look at those lovely facial expressions that we've got on Ratchet. And then again on, and this I think is even worse, on, on uh, Braun, who is really feeling it, and that hole, the damage there in his shoulder, that's not his shoulder, that's his chest. So that explains, that explains why it took him out, I think, in the movie. We thought it was, his, you know, it looked like a shoulder blow, but really it's much more significant than that. We'll do a quick zip around. Oh, poor, poor, poor. For the product shots on the back. But as I say, I will do a proper one of these. Um, and there's a glimpse of the diorama that we'll get um, <clears throat> of the shuttle attack. Uh, they do transform. I, you know, of course they do. Um, there we see them having some blast effect action. Uh, well, ratchet, not brawn so much. So, But back to the front. Uh, the reason I'm just sort of doing this quick video is because I very nearly didn't pick these up. And then I thought, well, why not? Because they are actually very nice figures. We already know that the transformations are good, the robot and vehicle modes are good of these figures. So what, why would I not pick them up? And the reason is the psychological double dipping, the double dipping into getting two figures that have already been, re that have already been released. Um, in the last one, which was Ironhide and Prowl, Ironhide had been released, but Prowl hadn't yet been released as a Studio Series 86 figure. So he's probably sitting he's in that one of those numbers yet to come. But I thought to myself, you know, why why would we and why do we double dip into these things? Because obviously it's a bit of a cash grab for our friends at, at, uh, at Hasbro. But I also, you know, I also think actually it's it's also quite kind to collectors, probably a bit controversial because you might be thinking, why on earth would we want these? Well, I happen to remember back in the sort of 80s, I'm sure it was the 80s, we, we had to buy battle damage toys. You had toys that came as, you know, pristine, and then you could get battle damage options, which I think was also sort of in Star Wars starships and things like that, um, where you had either battle damage uh, stickers or they actually had some degree of battle damage. And you, you that, that arguably is exactly the same experience as double dipping for dead brawn and these said dead prawn sorry i'll own up to it but dead brawn i mean you've got to love that artwork dead brawn um and uh, dead ratchet you know traumatic as it is this happened in the in in the film you know spoilers if you didn't know but it does um and, and you know people want to recreate that and they don't perhaps want to damage their their other figures so i do get it i do get if that isn't a thing for you then you might be querying and questioning why on earth would anyone in their right mind, because <laughs> as I say, I, I was with you, because I, I considered it myself. Why would they go for two figures that previously released that here we have a hole in one and a, and a whole different deco on the front? Um, whether or not that deco is an improvement, we will talk about in, the, in their separate videos. But this was just amusing that I had uh, as, I, as I took these out of the packaging going, I can't believe how quickly they've arrived from being announced. Um, but so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. And just sort of before I do my, my actual video on these two, um, if you could let me know in the comments whether you think it's um, extortionate double dipping or you can get behind the concept of purchasing battle damage toys to replicate things so you don't actually have to battle damage um, irreparably pre-existing figures. Um, and also, if you, like me, remember purchasing battle damaged figures back in the day um or battle damaged ships or vehicles or whatever um let me know in the comments see if you can jog my memory because i know that there were some i just can't necessarily remember what they were 
But yeah, if you could jog my memory, that would be fantastic. Anyway, thanks for joining me for the last uh, five or six minutes. It was a really quick one, uh, but not quick enough to be a short. But I, but, and, and I will be doing a little video on, on the pair of them uh, in the fullness of time. But just wanted to say, I think they look great, you know, considering they actually look really not so great. Loving the looks of the faces. Can't wait to do them a bit more uh, closely out of the, out of the box. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you in a future or a past video. I have been the Triple TC. That is the time traveling toy collector. You've been wonderful for the last five or six minutes. Um, so, you know, stick around, like the video, drop a subscription to the channel. You know you want to, and it'll really help me get towards my next subscriber milestone, um, for which I will be extremely grateful. I look forward to reading your thoughts and comments uh, down below, and I will see you very, very soon. Just remember that things of beauty really can be toys forever. Bye-bye for now.